Hi, my name's Christy Clark and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the latest issue of Quick and Crafty magazine. The March issue is on sale Friday the 23rd of February. It's in stores at just £3.99. I'm joined today by Corin Brad, a top designer who's going to be revealing what we have in store for us for the March issue of Quick and Crafty. Hiya Corin. Hi Christy. Let's yeah, get going. This March issue there's some great uh, wedding stationery designed by Tracy J. Dakin Jones. She's used really unconventional papers for the wedding stationery. They're like a retro funky. Okay. Um, really do make a change from the normal sort of pink and sequiny stuff. Um, Sally Southern has made a felt sewing kit. These are really cute. Yeah, they are. It's a great gift for um, a young child just starting to learn how to sew or a teenager that's very fashion conscious. She's decorated it with seed beads and sequins. Really pretty. Oh, I love that. Susie Johns has made some altered art, um, really off the wall badges. Um, they're papier mache with hanging bead ornaments, and I think these are bottle tops. Fantastic. Karen, let's talk features. Well, Claire Aristides, the jewellery designer, is speaking to us about how her company has developed, the new releases that she's got on offer, and the great jewellery kits that you can get from her. Crafty CVs focuses on three designers and progresses how their careers have gone up and up. And then Craft School is showing us how to use a fairy motif on your cards or painting it on china and a variety of other materials. Oh, brilliant. I'll have to have a look out for that. Yeah. Perhaps give that a go myself. Now, Corin, you know I like my freebies. Yes. <laughs> what have we got? First of all, we've got a great 52-page full-colour book called Bedazzled. Um, it's absolutely packed with jewellery projects, inspirational ideas, trip tips and techniques and projects. And uh, as you can see, you're modelling them already. I fell in love with this. I love it. It's gorgeous. There are some really great designs in there to suit anybody. Um, we also have uh, a choice of four colours of cutting mat. It's a really simple handbag size A5 cutting mat. Great for crafting on the go. So uh, pick one of them up. I will be taking one of these with me. Yeah, well, I should good. imagine it will be the pink one, but I'll, I'll take one with me anyway at the well, end. They're ideal for cutting a variety of materials like tracing paper, acetate, vellum or plasma. Okay, now Corinne is going to be demonstrating to us today how easy these are to use just by making a card for us. Corinne. Yes, I've picked this card which is a simple greetings card, a personalised greetings card. So let's just move these to one side. Now your base card is made from a piece of 12 by 12 um, scrapbook backing card. It's decent enough weight. I've cut it in half and scored it to make a 6 by 6 card. Okay. And if you take a piece of coordinating paper and just cut it down. To about 12 centimetres square. What's good about these cutting mats is they are uh, numbered. It's so very you can handy. see we're cutting, yeah, definitely. Okay. And also, you notice I've marked on the back there using a small ruler just to get an even border all the way around. And if you mark it with pencil first of all, then when you cut it, you'll know that you're not actually going over any of the other pieces. You're not going to um, end up with horrible little cutout marks there. If you cut a piece of acetate slightly smaller, we'll cut this about 10 centimetres square. You really can cut anything. Like oh yeah, no, they're so great. They're a really good surface to work on. And um, here is one I made earlier in true Blue Peter fashion. <laughs> it's just stuck onto the back. Okay. With a little bit of prick stick. Now we're going to mount this onto the front of the card, just using some 3D foam pads. You can pick these up in most places. They are the most invaluable part of my craft kit. You do need thing enough to get the back off from there. Oh, I don't want to ruin my manicure. <laughs> they're so quick, aren't they? Yeah. Well, they're good. They, they, what they do is, uh, especially when you've got acetate on it, they provide a certain amount of three dimension to your card. So that, you know, when you hold your card up, you can see the shadows behind it. I love now, these colours together. Yeah, they're great. Well, they've, they've all come together. I mean, Trimcraft have produced some great... Um, pads of paper. They all coordinate. This is called a pocket full of poses. And also what you'll notice is there are very small bits of glitter. Okay. So you have to do it yourself. What I've done is I've cut some flowers out of this coordinating sheet. 
and they will be stuck down. You can stick them down with either a print stick or also, as you see on here, I've used 3D pads on some shapes. It really makes some of them stand out yeah. a lot more, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it like just that. makes the card more interesting. If you can't be bothered cutting out the individual petals on some, I mean, it's quite quick and easy. I just use a pair of very small scissors, cut around one side and the other. Or you can use a scalpel on the cutting mat if you're uh, steady handed. But either way, if you can't be bothered cutting all them out, if you just cut them out in circles, they yeah, work they're just, just as, as well. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And then all I've done is I've taken some of these glitter die cut letters from Paper Arena and I've stuck them onto the card, again using 3D foam pads on some of them. So I mean, you could spell out, um, let's go for Vera. And if you overlap them slightly, And again, lift some of them with 3D mm. pads, like I've done on this rose card here. They look great, don't they? Yeah, and it's a really nice, it's always nice to get a personalised card because it makes people think, you know, you know that they know that you've definitely made it for them. I love it. Thanks ever so much, Corinne. That's brilliant. So why don't you go out and get your March issue of Quick and Crafty on sale 23rd of February, just 3 99 You get your mat and your bead book. It couldn't be more exciting than that. Join me next time. If you've enjoyed this demonstration, then why not treat yourself or a friend to a subscription of your favourite crafting magazine? Every month, you'll have the latest issue delivered direct to your door, so you'll never have to worry about missing out. Why not save yourself some money by subscribing to Quick and Crafty for just eight ninety nine every three issues via direct debit or just £37 for 13 issues? As well as fabulous projects and cover-mounted gifts, subscribers will be sent this stylish jewellery making kit from Jules Gems. The zebra printed case contains all the tools that you'll need plus a selection of gorgeous beads to get you started. To take advantage of this great offer right now, visit www quickandcrafty.com or alternatively call 01778 392 493